Welcome! In this video, you learn how to draw and sketch quadratic graphs. Graphs are snapshots of the number patterns. If you want to aim for that level 7 to 9 question in GCSE Maths, this is the one graph you must learn how to sketch. Before we move on, please support this channel by clicking like, share and subscribe button so that you don't miss out on any one of my latest tutorial videos. Your support will go long long way and help others who really need this support. Take a look at these coordinates. Can you see any number patterns between X and Y coordinates? How about if I plot this into a graph like this and join the line with a smooth curve? Are these patterns more clear? In case you haven't noticed, the rule connecting x and y coordinate is y equal to x squared in this case, which means if you square the x coordinate, you are getting the y coordinate. For example, squaring x coordinate 1 gives the y coordinate of 1, and squaring x coordinate 2 gives the y coordinate 4, and so on. All the points that lie on the curve follows the same rule. This is the graph of y equal to x squared, an example of a quadratic function. The graph of a quadratic function is always a smooth curve, called the parabola. The general equation of quadratic function is of the form y equal to ax squared plus bx plus c, where b and c are any constant, but a is a non-zero constant, and x is the variable of the function. The variable x has the highest power of 2. For example, y equal to x squared minus 2x plus 1 is a quadratic function, where 1 corresponds to the value of a and b corresponds to the value of minus 2 and c has the value plus 1. If the constant number in front of x square is a positive value, this gives rise to a graph looking like a smiling face. If the value of a is negative or less than 0, then it will give us the graph looking like a sad face. And the constant c tells us the y-intercept of the graph. This is where the x-coordinate will be 0. Therefore, the coordinate that the graph crosses the y-axis will be 0c. Parabolic curve has the minimum and maximum values. They are also known as the turning points, as the graph takes the turn at these points. When the parabolic curve is a happy face, the graph has a minimum value. If, for example, the coordinate is 2, minus 4, then the lowest point on the graph is minus 4. The lowest value is the y coordinate, and this occurs when x is 2. When the parabolic curve is a sad face, the graph has the maximum value. This is the highest point on the curve, and if the point has the coordinate 2, 6, then the highest value is the y coordinate, which is 6 in this case, and this occurs when x is 2. Graph will be symmetrical about these turning points, and the equation of the line of symmetry in this case is x equal to 2, as the vertical line passes through the 2 on the x axis. As the quadratic graph are parabolic curves, the turning points are located exactly halfway between the x-intercept. The x-intercept of the graph is also called the roots of the quadratic equation. This is the solution of a quadratic equation when y value is 0. If the coordinate of the x-intercept is say, minus 2, 0 and 6, 0, x-coordinate of the turning point will be exactly 2. In order to draw quadratic graph, we must follow three basic steps. In step 1, we must first recognize the graph is quadratic and give rise the parabolic curve. We must look for signs that the function is quadratic by looking at its constant and power of x on the equation. For example, y equal to 3x squared plus 2x plus 1 is an example of quadratic function as it is of the form y equal to ax squared plus bx plus c, where a corresponds to 3 b corresponds to plus 2 and c corresponds to plus 1. Highest power of all quadratic function is 2. So this is another way to distinguish that the function is a quadratic function. y equal to x squared plus 0x plus 1 can be simply written as y equal to x squared plus 1, which is also a quadratic equation. 
y equals to 3x plus 4x squared plus 3 is also quadratic as it can be written as y equals to 4x squared plus 3x plus 3 which is of the form y equal to a squared plus bx plus c. However, the function y equals to 2x squared plus 3x plus x cubed is not a quadratic function as the highest power of x is 3 on this occasion. For example, if you wanted to draw the graph of y equal to x squared plus 1, you would need a set of suitable x and y values. It is a good idea to use some mixture of negative and positive x values if this is already not mentioned in the question. Suppose the x ranges from minus 2 to 2, then the y value can be easily calculated by substituting x values into the function y equal to x squared plus 1. When x equals to minus 2, the y will be given by minus 2 whole square plus 1, which gives us 5. Similarly, when x is minus 1, y is going to be 2. When x is 0, y will be given by squaring 0 plus 1, which also equals to 1. The coordinate that the graph passes through then will be minus 2, 5, minus 1, 2, 0, 1, 1, 2, and 2, 5. In step 3, you would need to plot these points in a graph paper by choosing a suitable x and y axis and joining them with a smooth parabolic curve. Here is another example. y equals to x squared minus 2x minus 8 is of the form y equals to ax squared plus bx plus c. We can choose some negative and some positive x values and calculate the corresponding y values. This gives us the coordinate of the graph we have to plot. Now we need to think about how to display this coordinate into the graph. You will see from the table of values that x varies from minus 3 to 5 and y varies from minus 9 to 7. This should help us plan the length of x and y axis. Now all that remains is to plot them on the axis and join them with a smooth curve. This is a graph of y equals to x squared minus 2x minus 8. Here are some classic quadratic graph failures. Number one, joining the points using the straight lines. Remember that quadratic graph is parabolic curve and this cannot be achieved by joining the points with a straight line. Number two, joining the top or the bottom of the graph with a straight line. This is again has to be a curved line. Drawing or plotting a quadratic graph is different from sketching it. When the question asks us to draw or plot quadratic graph, you should make every attempt to make graph accurate. Therefore, when we drawn the graph of y equal to x squared plus 1 earlier, we needed to calculate the x and y coordinates and use the scaled axis to make the accurate drawing of the graph. However, when you are asked to sketch the graph, it means you need to only show the important points in the graph and its general shape. Important point on this graph are the turning points, the y-intercept and the parabolic curve. However, turning points coincides with the y-intercept on this occasion and a sketch will be a simple parabolic curve passing through the point 0, 1. When sketching the quadratic graph, we first need to know the orientation of the graph. This can be quickly checked by looking at the coefficient of x square, as we discussed earlier. If this is less than 0, we have a graph that is upside down or a sad face. When the coefficient of x square is greater than 0, then the graph will be u-shaped or a happy face. This is what I call orientation of the graph. Other important points we needed to show in our sketch are y-intercept, turning point and the x-intercepts. It's possible that sometimes the quadratic graph does not have all the necessary critical points like the x-intercept. In this situation, we can use the y-intercept and the turning point to sketch the graph. Suppose that you want to sketch the graph of this function. First thing to check is the orientation of the graph. Since the coefficient of x square is 1 and it's greater than 0, the orientation of this graph will be a smiley face. In the second step, we need to find the y-intercept. When the graph crosses the y-axis, x-coordinate is 0. Therefore, we can find the y-intercept by substituting the value of x as 0 into the equation. This gives us the y-intercept as minus 4. In the third step, we have to find the x-intercept of the graph. 
x-intercept occurs when y-coordinate is zero, which means we are now solving a quadratic equation. There are a number of ways you can solve this equation. One of the most popular way to solve this quadratic equation is by factorization. And second method is quadratic formula. This is the most popular method to use when the factorization method is unsuccessful. And finally, we can also use the completing square method. On this occasion, the equation easily factorizes into two factors of x minus 4 and x plus 1. And x can be found by equating x minus 4 to 0 and rearranging for x, which gives us x equals to 4. Likewise, we can equate the second factor x plus 1 equals to 0, which gives us x equal to minus 1. The roots of these equations are x equals to 4 and x equal to minus 1. It means the graph has two x-intercept points at 4 and minus 1. We are now able to include the x-intercept in the graph. In most occasion, this is now enough information to be able to sketch the quadratic graph. However, there are times when the graph does not have the x-intercept or may need to also include the turning points on the graph. The turning points on the graph can be found by completing the square. In order to complete the square, we first make the perfect square using the first two terms of the quadratic by writing x minus 3 over 2 whole square, where 3 over 2 is half the coefficient of x. We then take away 3 over 2 whole square and add on minus 4. We can then collect minus 9 over 4 with minus 4 to give minus 6 and a quarter. The smallest value, the bracket can be, is 0, regardless of whatever the value the x may take, because the power of 2 makes the term all positive value. First, the smallest value of y, or lowest point on the graph, will be minus 6 and a quarter. Since x minus 3 over 2 whole square is equal to 0, and it can be solved for x to give x equal to 3 over 2, the minimum point occurs when x is 3 over 2. Hence the coordinate of the minimum point or the turning point is now at 3 over 2 and minus 6 and a quarter. This is roughly here in the graph. You can now connect all the points using the curve which gives us the sketch of y equals x squared minus 3x minus 4. 